What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. So, I just moved into a new rental, so that's why my background's different. You get to see me in the mirror there, so you get two of me, which is, I think, the perfect number of me's. Um, <laughs> uh, but today I'm going to be talking about recoil and how to quantify it and how I'm going to compare, compare different weapons and I'll show all the different recoil plots for the different weapons and give you some actual hard numbers for how much recoil a weapon has with some unique measurements that I don't think I've seen before. So I think it's going to be a pretty cool video, so stick around for that. Um, so I'm growing my Discord channel for True Game Data. It's linked down below if you want to join. We have about 1,300 members at this point, so um, it's good to help you find people you want to play with or if you just want to ask questions or just hang out with other people that are interested in data like you are, it's a great place to hang out. And I also wanted to plug my Twitch channel again real fast, so I stream all the time over at twitch.tv slash truegamedatalive. Um, right now I'm not streaming because I just moved into this new place, uh, so I don't even have internet yet. I'm using my phone to tether, so um, as soon as I have internet I'll be streaming again all the time, but right now I'm not. But yeah, uh, all that's out of the way, so let's jump into the recoil information. Alright, so I want to talk for a second about what actually matters with recoil and how to quantify it. So the size of the spread pattern on the wall when you shoot a recoil pattern on the wall and look at it uh, isn't really what matters. So what matters with recoil is how much you have to move your mouse or hold down your thumbstick to correct for the recoil. So um, the best way to measure essentially how much you have to move or how fast you have to move is like a, a pixels per second climb rate. So it's how, how fast you'd have to move your mouse to correct for it. So if your gun has a, a short recoil pattern but shoots really, really fast, um, that means that it's going to be still climbing pretty quickly because it's just firing those bullets quicker. So you still have to correct the recoil even more in that situation than a, a taller pattern with a gun that shoots slower. So um, this video is going to focus on magnitude of recoil. So basically recoil control, the stat recoil control. So it's going to be the size of the recoil plot. Um, you can see on the right here this red line basically this is the M4 recoil and the red line essentially is the length of the recoil pattern and I used some software to measure the size of the recoil for every weapon in the game and I made sure I was the same distance from the wall and I had maximum aiming stability and I shot five uh, spread patterns so that's five different magazines 30 rounds a piece with the M4 in the image and then I just used like the average line of the recoil and found the total magnitude of that recoil. So the length of that red line is 295.6 pixels. So an example of how I'm going to quantify recoil in terms of uh, how much you actually have to correct for it is right here. So this is a 30 round magazine. Uh, the recoil path, the red line was 296 pixels. The fire rate of the M4 is 808.5 rounds per minute, which is equal to 13.475 rounds per second. So to calculate the average climb rate, it's just the length of the recoil path, so 296 pixels, divided by the number of rounds, so it's a 30 round mag, times the rounds per second, and this comes out to 133 pixels per second climb rate, which is essentially how fast you'd have to move your mouse or how far you'd have to move your thumbstick to correct for that recoil. And that's an average value across the whole recoil pattern. So some guns have recoil that uh, at different, at different points during holding down the trigger they have different amounts of recoil so I'll show you in the AK what I mean there but um, certain guns have a lot more recoil to start with and then less later on so this is just going to be the average climb rate so throughout the whole 30 round magazine um, it's just the average but uh, later on the website this is going to be actually a feature where you can plot the recoil with any set of attachments and it'll show you the climb rate and visually show you a realistic recoil pattern so this is going to be coming pretty soon so this is kind of like a, a preemptive uh, video for the website it's going to be a pretty cool feature but all right so now I've explained that let's jump into all the weapons and compare them okay so the first one is the Odin the Odin uh, this was with a 30 round magazine so 560 pixels for 30 rounds 413 rounds per minute is 6.88 rounds per second so that comes out to an average climb rate of 128.5 pixels per second. So that's a little bit less than the M4 actually. So the rate at which you have to move your mouse or uh, how far you have to hold down your thumbstick to correct for the recoil is actually less than the M4. Now that probably seems very wrong, but the reason it seems wrong is because the Odin shoots so slowly um, and the recoil, the visual recoil of the gun is, is so big that it covers up your target when you're shooting. 
Um, and it just, there's so much distance between each bullet that even though the amount you have to move your mouse to correct for the recoil, the rate at which you have to move your mouse to correct for the recoil is lower, it's harder to um, be more accurate with the Odin than the M4. So this kind of demonstrates why recoil is so difficult to actually quantify because in practice, I mean, for me personally, the Odin feels like it has way, way more recoil than the M4. So um, even though the rate at which I have to move my mouse is, is actually less for the Odin, um, in practice, the Odin feels like it has more recoil. But let's jump to the next gun. So the next gun is the M13, um, 30 round mag, 209 pixel. You can see the, the recoil plot is quite a bit smaller than the M4 over on the right there, but it shoots faster. So the rate at which you have to move your mouse to correct for that recoil is higher than you'd expect for the size of the recoil plot, but it's still, because it's so much smaller, the average across all the bullets is only 103.5 pixels per second, which is uh, quite a bit less than the M4. Then we have the SCAR. SCAR's 30 round mag, uh, 418 pixel recoil path, um, 573 rounds per minute, which is almost 10 rounds per second. Average climb rate, if you do that math, comes out to be identical to the M4. And again, compared to the Odin, um, SCAR has more recoil for how much you have to move your mouse. And this is another one of those things that's kind of counterintuitive because in-game, it feels like the SCAR has more recoil than the M4. But if you actually work out the, the math behind it, um, the actual amount you have to move your mouse is the same as the M4. It's just because of visual recoil and uh, things like that that make it feel like it has more recoil in-game. Next up is the AK-47. This one's kind of weird again, so it is a 359 pixel recoil path for 30 bullets, 9.08 uh, 9 rounds per second. If you do that math, it comes out to 109 pixels per second climb rate, so that's a lot slower mouse movement to correct for the recoil than the M4. And the people think the AK-47 has tons of recoil, and you can kind of see on this plot here there's like a little grouping right at the start when you pull the trigger, then there's a grouping up to the right, a grouping above that, and then after that it has easy recoil. So this is when, when I talk about guns having different recoil per bullet, this is what I'm talking about. So the first four shots of the AK have tons of recoil. These first four shots um, have just a, a, so much recoil, and they, they follow the same exact path every time, so if you got used to it, it'd be okay. They follow this little one grouping here, one grouping there, one grouping there, and then from there on out it's just consistent upward recoil. Um, so something I'm going to do to try to quantify this a little better, I'm going to make another video probably tomorrow. Um, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the distance between each bullet for one recoil plot and then calculate the climb rate for each bullet in the whole recoil plot for all 30 bullets. Um, that's going to take a ton of time, but I'm going to try to do that tomorrow so we have a better idea of why certain guns like the AK feel like they have so much recoil. Um, and like I said, it's just because those first few bullets, which are the most important bullets, because, the, I mean, obviously the first bullets you shoot are some of the most important, because as soon as you start shooting, that person's going to notice you're there and look back and start firing back. So you want to land those first few shots so you have a, have a better chance to win that fight. Um, certain guns, like the AK, have, just have so much recoil um, in the first few bullets. So that's what I'm going to try to do tomorrow. On to the Kilo 141. So the Kilo is the king of low recoil. Um, it shoots at 750 rounds per minute, which is 12.5 rounds per second. So if you do the math, over 125 pixel recoil path has the smallest recoil path of any weapon in the game. Uh, it comes out to 52 pixels per second, which is dramatically smaller than the M4. Um, but the, the Kilo, again, is a lot like the AK. The first three or four bullets have quite a bit more recoil than the rest of the bullets. So that'll be another interesting one for tomorrow's video. But this video is more for showing the recoil plots and um, explaining how uh, difficult recoil is to quantify and showing you how much you actually have to correct for the recoil uh, based on the, the climb rates. So the next up is Ram 7. You do the math, you get 148 pixels per second climb rate, which is a little bit more than the M4 and a very overall a very high number for the assault rifles. Um, it's kind of almost like a mirror image of the M4 recoil, just a little bit taller, but because it shoots quite a bit faster, that's why the pixels per second that you have to correct for uh, is higher. The Growl, so the Growl um, has a little bit shorter recoil, or a little bit shorter path of recoil, 265 pixels instead of the M4's 296. 
Uh, and it also shoots slower, so if you work out the math, it comes out to 107.5 pixels per second, which is quite a bit less recoil than uh, the M4. And then we have the Amax. So the Amax kind of has this smooth curve recoil plot, which is kind of interesting. There's not a lot of guns that do that. Um, it shoots at 630 RPM, which is 10.5 rounds per second. So if you work the math out for the average across all the bullets, it's 110 pixels per second climb rate. Um, I think this is another one that we're going to see some pretty different numbers throughout the recoil plot uh, in tomorrow's video, which is going to be actual individual bullet climb rates, so stay tuned for that. Um, the AN-94 has a similar recoil plot to the M4, but it shoots a lot slower, so that's how the actual amount you have to correct for the recoil is much lower because um, the, the, the fire rate's a lot lower, so it comes out to 100, pixel, 100 pixels per second which is a little bit less than the Growl, um, one of the lower numbers of all the assault rifles, but the AN-94 just has a really bad TTK because it has such a bad, or such a low fire rate and low damage per bullet. So I think that's why it's not used very much despite having lo really low recoil. And then the last one is the AS Val. So the Val has a very tall recoil path, uh, 435 pixels. And it also has a fire, high fire rate, 14.75 uh, rounds per second. So if you work out the math, it comes out to 214 pixels per second. So this is the highest uh, recoil assault rifle that there is, significantly higher than the M4. Um, and I mean, I've been able to feel this since the day it came out. It has tons of, of vertical recoil, um, but you're using it like an SMG. So it's not really that big of a deal if you're inside 30 meters and you're used to it but obviously not a long range gun. Um, the bullet velocity and the recoil just make it impossible to use at range. All right, so I wanted to do like a visual comparison summary at the end of this, just so you can uh, look at all these different plots. These are all scaled the same. So um, they're scaled appropriately. So you can compare one plot to the other across all of these. Um, this shows all the different patterns that these weapons follow. So just kind of interesting to compare all of these so just you can just pause the video here if you want to spend a lot of time looking at this and then a climb rate summary the average climb rate that we just went through all those slides this is what those numbers come out to we have uh, kilo of course at the top 52 pixels per second which is a very very small amount of recoil um, AN-94 is in second followed by the M13 um, and then at the other end of the spectrum the AS Val is like like I said by far the most uh, recoil that you have to correct for followed by the RAM, the SCAR, and the M4 um, but yeah the, the guns that have slow fire rate but also low climb rate can still feel like they have a lot of recoil just because there's so distant so much distance between each bullet so like like I was talking about the Odin, um, the SCAR they don't have significantly higher or Really, they're about the same as the M4, but they feel like they have way more recoil just because there's so much difference distance between each bullet and there's a lot of visual recoil. So that's kind of... Hopefully tomorrow's video will shred some more light on that with the, the uh, individual bullet measurements for climb rate between each bullet. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty interesting. All right, well, I hope you uh, liked the video. hope you learned something new. Um, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to be covering individual pixel between each bullet and the climb rate between each bullet for each gun and these are just ARs and then after that I'll do SMGs after that I'll do LMGs so it's gonna be um, a decently long little series here on recoil and uh, like I said this is gonna be coming to the website pretty soon which is gonna be really cool I think and it's gonna be modifiable based on attachments and um, you'll be able to visually compare as well as numerically compare with the climb rates um, I've been working on this stuff for a really long time recoil is a tricky tricky beast uh, a lot because of how much visual recoil plays a part in things and um, stabilization so the bouncing left to right is also really hard to uh, quantify so I'm trying to do the best I can here but it is tricky um, anyway yeah I hope you guys liked the video um, if you like what I'm doing drop me a sub uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it just let me know what you'd like to see different um, comment yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.